Hello students, Sacred Art High School welcomes you. Today we are going to study Chapter 6 of Standard 7, Measurement of Physical Quantities. Physical Quantity In day-to-day -day life, we measure many things such as weight of the fruits, vegetables, food grains, temperature of the body or some liquids, volume of some liquids, density of various substances, the speed of vehicles, etc. A physical quantity is a quantity which can be measured. For example, quantities such as mass, weight, distance, speed, temperature and volume. Physical quantity is always measured of natural non-living objects. A value and a unit are used to express the magnitude of a physical quantity. The meaning of magnitude is size or quantity. Scalar quantity and vector quantity. A quantity that can be completely expressed by its magnitude alone is called scalar quantity. Directions are not used in scalar quantity. Time, length, breadth, area, mass, temperature, density, work are some of the scalar quantities. Example, if a person asks, what is the time? You will say 5 pm. So, the information regarding time provided by you is ample enough for the person to understand that the time is 5 o'clock in the evening. Vector quantity. The quantity that is expressed completely only when magnitude and direction are both given is called vector quantity. Displacement, velocity are vector quantities. For example, a displacement of 20 kilometers towards the north. The aeroplane flying at a velocity of 500 kilometers per hour towards Mumbai. Directional element is very important in vector quantity. Mass and weight. The amount of matter present in a substance is called mass. It is commonly measured by how much something weighs. Matter has a natural tendency to resist a change in its state, which is called inertia. For example, an object kept on a table will be in a stationary or a resting position until and unless it is moved by providing external force. Another example, a large boulder or a stone will not move on its own. It will remain in its own stationary position until and unless a force is applied on it. Mass is the quantitative measure of the inertia of an object. Means, inertia is measured with the help of mass. The larger the mass, the greater is the inertia. Mass is a scalar quantity. It does not change from place to place anywhere in the world. Gram and kilogram are the units of mass. Weight. The gravitational force acting on a body which has mass is called weight. Weight is different at different places on the earth because of the fluctuations in the earth's gravity. Standardized measurements. Let's study this by doing an activity. Take a ball of string. Let one student from the class measure four hand spans of the string and cut it there. Let each of the other students in the class cut four hand spans of the string too. Now hold all the pieces together by one end. Are they all of the same length? No. The measurement of length is not same because the hand spans of each and every student are different. So, is it okay to use hand spans to measure things? No. For measuring any object, standardized measurements are important. Standardized measures are required for measuring things. Such measures are called standard units. For example, the meter is the specified unit for measuring length. A certain distance has been accepted as the standard for one meter. Why is there a need for such a standard unit? Suppose 
the span of a hand is accepted as the unit for measuring length with this unit we can measure lengths of cloth as two hand spans three hand spans and so on however the lengths of the cloth measured by each one of us will come out to be different that is why a hand span cannot be a standard unit for measuring length standards are the fundamental reference for a system of weights and measures against which all other measuring devices are compared fundamental quantities and international system of units fundamental quantities are those quantities that do not depend on any other physical quantity for their measurement these quantities do not take support of other physical quantities for its measurement for example mass length and time mass cannot be represented with the help of length and time similarly to represent length you don't need mass and time same goes for time to represent time we do not need mass and length fundamental quantities should have standardized units a standard fundamental unit must be available to all and it must not be variable variable means the fundamental units should not change international system of units it is a modern form of metric system it is the only system of measurement with an official status in nearly every country in the world example time is a fundamental quantity and its si unit is second temperature is also a fundamental quantity and its si unit is kelvin importance of accurate measurement how accurate a measurement must be depends upon its purpose accordingly an appropriate device has to be used for the measurement accuracy refers to the closeness of a measured value to a standard or known value by taking accurate measurements we can understand the world around us measurements can also allow us to make decisions based on the outcomes of the measurement measurement of substances that are precious or of great importance and used in very small quantities is done meticulously and accurately due to advancement in science and technology devices that measure very small magnitudes of quantities like distance mass time temperature are now available for example distance and time is very important in sports competitions major causes of error in measurement measurement error is defined as the difference between the true or actual value and the measured value major causes of errors in judgment are not using the appropriate device not using the device properly do you really get as many liters of petrol as the petrol pump indicates to ensure this it is necessary to check it against a standard measure from time to time this is called standardization similarly it is necessary to standardize the weights and measures used in markets while buying things at grocery make sure that the balance carry the stamp of standardization by the department of weights and measures also make sure that the balance is stable and if the pointer is upright also make sure that the underside of the pan of the balance is not tampered to prevent consumers from being cheated a weights and measures subdivision function as part of the food urban supply and consumer protection division of the government officers of this subdivision visit different places from time to time and ascertain whether the weights and balances being used are proper or not it is binding by law to use standard weights and measures it is also a function of the weights and measure subdivision to grant license for the production sales and repairs 
of weights and measures i hope you have understood this lesson thank you